Good morning, everyone, and welcome. Let's actually make that welcome back. I'm excited to show you how we are deepening our understanding of information so that we can turn it into knowledge and advancing the state of computing so that knowledge is easier to access no matter who or where you are. Today, I'm excited to announce that we are adding 24 new languages to Google Translate. This includes the first indigenous language of the Americas, and together these languages are spoken by more than 300 million people. Using advances in 3D mapping, machine learning, we are fusing billions of aerial and street level images to create a new high fidelity representation of a place. We are using computer vision to detect buildings at scale from satellite images. As a result, we've increased the number of buildings on Google Maps in Africa by five times. At Google, whenever I get a long document or email, I look for a TLDR at the top. TLDR is short for too long, didn't read. And it got us thinking, wouldn't life be better if more things had a TLDR? That's why we have introduced automated summarization for Google Docs. And Docs are only the beginning. We are launching summarization for other products in Workspace. Later this year, we'll add a new way to search for local information with multi-search near me. Let's say I spot a tasty looking dish online. With this new capability, I can quickly identify that it's Japche, find nearby restaurants that serve it, and enjoy it in no time. With an advancement we're calling scene exploration, you'll be able to use multi-search to pan your camera and ask a question and instantly glean insights about multiple objects in a wider scene. Today, we're excited to share how we're starting to use the Monk Skin Tone Scale to build more inclusive products across Google. We started using the Monk Scale to help improve how we understand and represent skin tone in products like photos and search. Even as technology grows increasingly complex, we keep more people safe online than anyone else in the world. We were the first consumer technology company to offer two-step verification. And we're now the first to turn it on by default. Whether you're on Android or iOS, just one tap on your phone and you're in. No six-digit codes. We're constantly monitoring the security of your Google account to give you peace of mind. We're now adding a safety status on your profile picture. So if anything needs your attention, we'll let you know and then guide you through simple steps to ensure your account is secure. We've engineered a new technical approach we call protected computing. At its core, protected computing is a growing toolkit of technologies that transforms how, when, and where data is processed to technically ensure the privacy and safety of your data. Soon, if you find search results that contain your contact details, such as your phone number, home address, or email address that you want taken down, you can easily request their removal from Google search. The journey we've been on with computing is an exciting one. I've always thought computers should be adapting to people, not the other way around. So we continue to push ourselves to make progress here. To share more about how we are making computing more natural and intuitive with the Google Assistant, here's Sissy. You should be able to easily initiate conversations with your assistant. First is a new feature for Nest Hub Max called Look and Talk. I can simply look over and ask, show me some beaches in Santa Cruz. I found a few beaches near Santa Cruz. <laughs> We're also improving how the assistant understands you by being more responsive as you just speak naturally. For example, I might tap and hold on my pixel buds and say, play the new song from... Mm -hmm. Florence and the something? Got it. Playing free from Florence and the Machine on Spotify. Today, we are excited to announce Lambda 2, our most advanced conversational AI yet. We are at the beginning of a journey to make models like these useful to people and we feel a deep responsibility to get it right. That's why we have made AI Test Kitchen. It's a new way to explore AI features with a broader audience. This demo tests if the model can take a creative idea, you give it, and generate imaginative and relevant descriptions. And this will be the first ever live demo of Landa from stage. 
I'm gonna tap start, and this is a project I've been thinking a lot about lately. Plant a vegetable garden. I'll send this off to Landa, and there it is. On the fly, it's come up with these different steps and broken it down into this list of subtasks. One of the other things Lambda does is not just break down lists, but you can generate a tip. So here when I tap generate a tip, oh, it's never seen this one before actually. It's telling me if I have a small yard or patio, it gives me different vegetables I might be able to grow. You can see all the different pathways that Lambda is helping me think through and giving me tips along the way. As you just saw, Lambda 2 has incredible conversational capabilities to explore other aspects of natural language processing and AI, we recently announced a new model. It's called Pathways Language Model, or POM for short. It's our largest model to date and trained on 540 billion parameters. And when we combine that scale with a new technique called chain of thought prompting, the results are promising. Chain of thought prompting allows us to describe multi-step problems as a series of intermediate steps. Now, if you ask the model how many hours are in the month of May, it actually answers correctly. Recently, we announced plans to invest $9.5 billion in data centers and offices across the US. One of our state-of-the-art data centers is in Mays County, Oklahoma. I'm excited to announce that there, we are launching the world's largest publicly available machine learning hub for all our Google Cloud customers. We hope this will fuel innovation across many fields from medicine to logistics, sustainability, and more. And speaking of sustainability, this hub is already operating at 90% carbon-free energy. This is helping us make progress on our goal to become the first major company to operate all our data centers and campuses globally on 24-7 carbon-free energy by 2030. Android 13 builds on our Material U design language, so your phone has even more ways to adapt to your style. Of course, Android 13 comes jam-packed with dozens of new security and privacy features. When you send a message from your phone to someone else's, you want to be sure it's private and secure. That's why we've worked with carriers and device makers all over the world to upgrade SMS text messaging to a new standard called RCS, which can enable important privacy protections like end-to-end -end encryption. Today, we're excited to introduce the new Google Wallet. It's a digital wallet for Android that gives you fast, secure access to your everyday essentials. We are now approaching 270 million active users on large screen devices. Starting today, we'll be updating more than 20 Google apps to look amazing on large screens. And here's one of my favorite new features. Copy something on your phone and paste it on your tablet. It could be a URL, an address, or even a picture or screenshot. An ambient approach gets the tech out of your way so you can live your life while getting the help you need. It doesn't matter what device you're using, what context you're in, whether you're talking, typing, or tapping, the technology in your life works together seamlessly. Pixel 6a gives you the same great Android experience as our Pixel 6 Pro. We truly believe it's the best smartphone we've ever offered for this price. Let me give you an early preview so you can see what's coming this fall. Pixel 7 and 7 Pro are designed to deliver the most helpful, most personal experience you can get in a smartphone. They'll use the next generation of our Google Tensor SoC, bringing even more AI-heavy breakthroughs and helpful personalized experiences across speech, photography, video, and security. Pixel Buds Pro. These earbuds have all the helpfulness and smarts you'd expect from Google, embedded in the best mobile audio hardware we've ever designed. And they're the first Pixel Buds with active noise cancellation. The new Google Pixel Watch. It's the first watch built inside and out by Google. And it's coming this fall with our new Pixel 7. Today we talked about all the technologies that are changing how we use computers and access knowledge. Looking ahead, there is a new frontier of computing. 
which has the potential to extend all of this even further, and that's augmented reality. At Google, we have been heavily invested in this area. Let's take language as an example. Language is just so fundamental to connecting with one another. The joy that comes with speaking naturally to someone, that moment of connection to understand and be understood. Let's see what happens when we take our advancements in translation and transcription and deliver them in your line of sight in one of the early prototypes we've been testing. I'm actually looking straight into your eyes and it seems like you're looking right at me. That's what our focus on knowledge and computing is all about. The ability to spend time focusing on what matters in the real world, in our real lives. And it's what we strive for every day with products that are built to help. Thank you so much.